All right, so a few years ago, I want to talk a little bit about the real Jack Holiday. We we're at Caribbean I meeting, sitting on a patio, entry to the meeting. Jack's got a Hawaiian Flaherty shirt and suspenders on, and the real Jack Holiday comes up and says, Jim, how are you? And I start talking about medicine and the practice and everything, and Jack's like, no, Jim. How's Heather? How's the boys? And that's when I knew who the real Jack Holiday was, and I want to thank you for being my friend all these years. Yes, sir. So what I'm going to talk a little bit about today is just showing more mildly abnormal cases because I'm in a high volume practice, and I don't mean this to be braggadocious, but I did 124 cases last week. So I need something just like Jack said earlier that I can look at really quickly make a decision on and make the right decision because every single one of these patients that comes back to me because they're unhappy, if you analyze your cost in your practice of your exact cost per patient exam, it's over $1,000 because of my surgical volume. So I lose $1,000 of potential gross revenue for every unhappy post-op patient exam I perform. So I really want to make sure on the front end, I have it right to minimize that care so that my post-op optometrist can help me with this. So this is a case that IOL master is totally normal. I'm not a consultant for Zeiss. We have 500s and 700s in our offices. Everything looks perfect. You see 0.75 diopters of astigmatism here on this patient, fairly low astigmatism. In the central three millimeters, the astigmatism looks fairly regular when you're looking at the lines, but outside the central three millimeters, it starts breaking down. We see a little bit of irregularity in the cornea here. And this patient's wanting a lens implant upgrade. But we're gonna go over now and look at the parameters in a little bit more detail here where we're gonna enlarge it. So now we can see we have 0.73 diopters at axis 59 steep. Spherical aberration, 0.59 on the plus side, so a great patient for an aspheric lens implant, but of major concern is the higher order aberrations here of 1.0, and it flashes up in red for you. So doesn't matter which doctor in my office is seeing this patient, they, they don't have to memorize 0.66 to 0.9 is borderline, 0.9 and above is very abnormal. They just simply look at the boxes and then they can say, hey, maybe this one needs some consulting with Dr. Loden before we schedule them with surgery, or maybe we need to treat dry eyes. When we look over at the cord mu now, cord mu's 0.19, so based on everything other than the higher order aberration profile, I would think this would be a great patient for an extended depth of focus lens or a multifocal lens implant. But because of this higher order aberration, I know that this patient is going to be a potential unhappy patient in my practice. I'm going to even counsel them preoperatively about a monofocal lens leaving them with glare and halo. So I'm definitely not going to want to over promise to this type of patient. So it gives me a quick look at their eye. These patients have normal IOL masters. You can't find these abnormalities if you don't look, and the only way to look is doing the tomography. So this is how it's really helped me increase my throughput and increase my patient satisfaction, just looking at these simple calculations that are there. Jack, any comments there? No, I, I think you're uh, right on target, and that's the whole purpose for somebody that like you is a high volume and needs to provide the right information to the patient immediately. No, right on target. Wait, so did that patient have any previous corneal surgery? No, no previous corneal surgery at all. Right, can you go back to the sagittal view? So it's kind of an interesting map because you see this central flattening. It's suspicious for some type of previous central um, procedure or something. So uh, I'm just curious why you think this patient had that map, or do you think? Well, I think the patient has dry eyes. Okay. Yeah, I That's think it. this is a patient that you would want to bring back and treat with dry eye therapy and see if the maps change on them. The That's other it. thing that I want to bring up is just anomaly. Jack and I discussed this ahead of time. As you look at the posterior float, it's a little elevated. One of the things you will see on the Pentacam, though, in these patients that are in their 70s and 80s is we think we're getting a little reflectivity off the cornea 
and sometimes it makes it look like they're a pseudokeratoconus patient when they're not. So if you look here, you see this yellow, but actually uh, on a lot of the other programs, this patient does not have ectasia or keratoconus. Absolutely, and, and what you see there, it's dead center. You see that that on the map there, you see that that elevation is dead center in the cornea. Yeah, you see that in the center map there. On the center on right. thickness. And what happens is in some of those people as they age, you're right. You can get a little increased reflectivity, but it's sometimes a real change, but it's still at that level with no hot spot in that same area there. And particularly in an older patient, that's not any risk of keratoconus or anything. The only thing is now, how much astigmatism was there? 0.75, roughly. Yeah. Now, that's a little low because we don't even have the one diopter, so you're not going to use a toric not going to use a toric. You would think about using an LRI, obviously, yes. in this patient. But even with an LRI, you have a big variable here. Right. And the thing about it is, though, that LRIs, you see how that top part is steeper than the bottom part down there. Asymmetric. And when you do LRIs, do you ever do asymmetric locations of Absolutely. your LRIs? Right. So what happens is at 1145 on the top, you have a little two millimeter and then you don't put it at six o'clock on the bottom or you don't, may not even put one down there put at all. about a 50 degree arc superior that's if you right were to treat off this topography yes that's exactly right 